Hello, my name is Dr. Rita Armstrong from Dallas Nursing Institute, and the topic of my poster presentation is Increasing Diabetic Education for Adherence to Dietary Management. So basically, just an overview of my poster presentation is dealing with um, college students that are, are already diagnosed with type 2 diabetes. Um, and so the aim of the project is to get them to be able to choose healthier um, options as pertaining to their diet. So what I did, I implemented a questionnaire, a pre and post questionnaire, um, a diabetic knowledge survey that they took prior to the education session and after. Um, the age group ranged anywhere from 18 years of age to 64. Uh, the mean average was 34 years of age, both male and female, and um, all ethnicities were involved. Basically, after the pre-test, the education session ended up being a video um, showing them how to read and understand uh, labels when grocery shopping, also being able to identify what are healthy starches, protein, um, how much sugar and sodium they should intake into their diet. All of that information was taught to them after the uh, pre-testing. Once the education uh, was completed, then they also took a post presentation. Um, same questions and they ended up scoring, scoring higher um, after the education session and um, actually it was 67 percent that scored an 80 percent benchmark um, is what we were looking for on the pre and post test. Once they finished that then I did what was called an outcome um, behavior modification. So I wanted to see if they applied that knowledge after the education session in making changes to their actual diet on a day-to-day -day basis. And so this was over a four-week period. What I did, I did a telephone follow-up call um, once a week for four weeks um, to uh, 53 participants. Now, the benchmark for this um, was a starting the conversation tool when I called there were certain questions that was asked and they had to meet a summary score of less than 10. The less than 10 showed that yes, there was a definite positive change in their behavior as far as making healthier food choices. Not everyone met that 10%, um, less than 10%, but it did show that all participants made some change in their diet behavior modification. Um, moving forward, some of the things that I wanted to um, implement for future implication, um, possibly partnering with college campuses in developing some type of um, wellness clinic that will address uh, diabetes, hypertension, some other comorbidities that students tend to have or um, is, has been diagnosed with to where it can be managed. Preventative uh, services, promotion, um, things of that nature that can be provided on a campus setting, a college campus setting. Um, typically, for diabetes, diabetes patients, what we want them to do is to be able to um, provide self-management and control over their diabetes. And um, in being able to provide this type of service on a college campus setting, I think that that would be a wonderful um, intervention, a wonderful implementation. If you need to contact me, um, you can contact me via email. It's here at the bottom of my poster. And then also my cell number. Um, you can text or call me.